Hey everyone, welcome. Today we start with our Euro Guide series. This is going to be covering all of the Euros in Magicraft. As you can see here, we have Vega to start with, but we're going to be getting through all of them later on. Now, let's get into Vega. Vega has been a killer in all of your lobbies. I'm sure many of you have died to him. Many of you have been cut down by that scythe again there's no one who relishes the opportunity to play against vega because he just does so much damage and look at his game roll killer that's what he is he's quite a slow euro as you can see by the movement speed but that's all taken care of through his mobility spell and you know it doesn't really change who he is like maybe in team fights if you've used all your abilities then you could die because you're a bit slow or, or something like that but nothing really too big now let's take a look at his first ability he's got incision this ability allows vegas to dash in a chosen direction and then it slams with a spin attack so what happens there is he will dash like any other dash and then spin and damage every single euro in his vicinity that's pretty crazy and does a lot of damage i think people kind of like they get scared as soon as vega jumps in because they know some damage is going to get pumped out into them and they're probably going to die however there are ways to counter that and we can look into that a bit later so what do you do with this incision ability the best is you jump in and you do damage that's it you get in between everyone and you try and hit as many targets as you can that's the idea behind this ability you know so if there's two euros side by side you try and jump straight in the middle of them aim yourself towards the middle of them jump into them and you'll do bucket loads of damage so next up we have the scythe sweep so this is just the auto attack ability does a lot of damage and pretty much vega cuts you down with his scythe that's it it's not much more to it we can move on from there What's really cool is his ultimate really pairs up nicely with his incision ability. Harvest does really well with incision because harvest is also an AOE ability. So what you want to do is you use incision and then you click harvest. And what does harvest do? He spins his scythe twice and he does a boatload of damage. 65 damage per spin and then the enemies take bleed damage. This is pretty crazy because it does 45 damage per second. That is a dot ability damage over time. So you can just imagine you jump in with incision, you spin and then by then pretty much anyone is dead. I don't think there's any hero who withstands that without a shield ability. One of the heroes that does really well against Vega is Brienne. She has this explosive shield ability. When the explosive shield is maxed out or runs out of time, it explodes and deals damage in an AOE which is pretty good so any damage that can be blocked you know another one is Frigard I think Frigard is probably one of the more unexpected ones because Vega likes to jump in uses abilities immediately and Frigard can obviously counteract that with his shield which reflects all damage to his opponents in that time that it's on Vega pretty much dies instantly when he uses all his abilities on you so just look out for Frigard if you're playing Vega Try not to use all your abilities on him. <laughs> Next up, we're going to jump into a little bit of gameplay. I'm just going to search for a match. I'm going to try pull off his abilities to the best of our ability. Let's do this. And here we go. So, got our team together. Got a little bit of skull grab. We're going to see what we can do with Vega here. Big team fight to start out the game. Watch how quickly my ulti built up just from hitting a bunch of foes. I use it. Kill the figure, but unfortunately died to the blazy. Here we have a neat little play that I pulled off with the environment using incision. You'll see, do a little bit of damage to these two. They're trying to follow me. I know these are bots, but now you'll see I use incision to kind of float on the environment and then slam down, collecting all their skulls. Here we have a nice play that I pulled off. A little bit of a dodge. Dodged his ulti, as you can see here, with the normal dodge ability. Got back into it with incision damaged him and I'm on a triple kill. This is a play that I added just to show you to stop attacking the Frigid because yeah you'll kill yourself with that shield. Next up we have a few kills just to round off the game you know. One Yana Moon 
very simple and i think a last one on zapia then we just play the objective and i think maybe a few kills to wrap it all up they're busy chasing me yeah a little bit of a duke around the side and a flank yeah gonna use my ulti kill them off and then i think that's where it ends I'm happy to round off that match like that. 12 kills, that's pretty good. I think one death is a little bit outrageous because it's against bots, you know. That's not going to happen in a normal match. I think you can expect to die a little bit more. But 12 kills is about... That's decent, you know. We've seen that in the testing lobbies. In terms of damage, we got 6.9k damage. That's quite a lot. In 2.4 minutes, that's, that's pretty decent. And then... In terms of damage taken, just a second, I guess, and zero healing. Well, that's how it goes. I just want to thank you all for joining me and watching this video. I hope it helped you in Magicraft and with Vega in general. I hope you can use him to win some MCRT and I'll see you in the next one. Keep enjoying Magicraft. I'll see you out there in the lobbies. I look forward to beating you all, hopefully, and I look forward to the strategies that you guys come up with. Goodbye.